before you here is a confluence of circumstances. Because ENCO sends out sale flyers like every three days, and they sometimes coincide with their little catalogs that they send out with the discounts, and you can stack them, I was able to purchase this ridiculously long die grinder for 30 American pesos, or Federal Reserve notes as everybody else calls them. Uh, the crazy bastards actually gave me material goods for the green paper. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, the neat thing about this particular die grinder is it's got this dandy cylindrical section here that's machined. It's the same diameter all the way down. And that got me to thinking, what could I use this for besides, you know, going to town by hand? And then I needed to grind the OD of a drill bit. And I would really like to do that in the lathe, but how do you mount this there? Using this thing. Well, the problem is we're suffering from hot dog in the hallway syndrome. So what I got to do here is make me a bushing, a split collar to uh, adapt my wee appendage to the uh, rather large orifice it's got to work in. So that's what I'm going to do now. We're going to make a tool to make a tool to modify a tool to then make some parts. So hang around. All right, guys. So I got here a piece of aluminum. I'm just making a shim. It's not going to be in anything super, you know, hell for stout you know, boring bar, big loads, doesn't matter. So I just need to take up the space. This inch and a half OD, it's uh, extruded so it's rough. It just almost fits inside of our hallway over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buff this down with some uh, emery paper, right quick like, and then uh, we'll cut a piece off. We need a four and a half inch chunk to go all the way through, and uh, then we'll drill a hole through it. I just happen to have the stem on that die grinder is inch and three sixteenths, and I just happen to have an inch and three sixteenths drill bit, so uh, we're in pretty good shape after this. I'm just going to sand this a little bit, and then we'll we'll drill it. Not bad, it's not bad at all. Maybe a little bit of maybe I'll go ahead and face this end while I got it here. It's stuck out quite a little ways, but I don't think it'll hurt anything. Especially not for what we're doing. Good enough. All right, 
I'm going to take it out here and cut it off and flip it around. And we'll go ahead and face this end off here. I already measured it before I put it in the chuck. I know i got to take 85 thou off of this to get it to the right length. So we'll probably take two bites at it. digital readout. I'll take 60 on this one. I love him high positive inserts. Just as I say that, it quits breaking a chip. <laughs> That's what I get for talking them up. I'm just going to go ahead and roll right into the drilling because I don't need to change the speed of any part of aluminum. That's a half inch screw machine drill, just get her started. We're going to go all the way through this one. And a back. With a longer tool. If only it were that easy in real life. from the end it spun. What a pain in the ass. How about we slow it down a little bit for this one. Let's see. 
chip so I don't have to touch them with my fenders because that bad boy is hot now. I got four and a half inches of stroke on my tailstock, and if you retract it past an inch, it ejects the tool. So we're gonna have to bump it up in there a little ways and try again. Splitter down the middle. I'll be the first to admit that this is a somewhat Rube Goldberg setup I got going here, but I need to split this down the middle, and I ain't got no real good way to clamp it. So I just got it shimmed on this side and a pressure clamp in the center. Uh, I'm reasonably sure it's going to be all right. It's fairly stable, so we'll see. If it blows up in my face, uh, I'll take aftermath pictures. Victory is mine. No crap ups, no explosions. Nice, neat cut through just one side. We're good to go, boys. Hot dog, neat hallway. I believe we got her now, boys. It's hotter than the sun bitch this afternoon and humid, so I think I'm gonna call it. My girl is telling me it's about burger o'clock anyhow. It's got this pile of chips here in case you needed a reminder about why a twist drill is the most efficient way to move metal. Thanks for watching guys.